naturopath from New Zealand. Let's talk about glandular therapies. Okay, are they good? I think they're absolutely fantastic. In fact, if you look back in history, uh, many people, civilizations, have really been into glandular therapy since people have been eating animals. It goes back a long time. We're talking glands of animals. Okay, we're talking liver, we're talking kidneys, uh, we're talking bone marrow, uh, we're talking even eyes, we're talking all kinds of things. If you look at Wikipedia, you'll see a guy called Dr. Henry Harrower, H-A-R-R-O-W-E-R. -R -E in fact, he was one of the founders of the American Endocrine Association. Right in the beginning, he started the endocrine society. Now, Wikipedia make this guy out to be like Jim Carrey, basically, a clown with a funny face, okay? I find that quite uh, disrespectful and actually quite disgusting. How Wikipedia find every way, shape, or form they can to point barbs and knives and blades into anything that's not drug or pharmaceutical. It's, it's completely ridiculous. They say that his um, interest was in organotherapy and it quickly faded after he died. Well, Wikipedia, you're wrong! Because a lot of people practice organotherapy in Europe and they have for over 100 years and in America and many countries. There's a guy from Boston, an ophthalmologist, Dr. Neusseblatt, I think, or Neusseblatt or something like this, some German guy. And you can read it online, actually, how he discovered that when he actually gave bovine eye protein to people with eye diseases, so this is actually some parts of a cow's eye, that people were getting incredible results with their eyes recovering from different ocular diseases. And he actually says, you can read it, he says, this is no hocus pocus or, 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 or fancy crap. This is real science. We've actually really validated that when you give an animal eye to a human, the human eye improves. Now, guess what? Here's Harrow's book. Okay. Shh, I photocopied it. Okay. Well, it's a book you can't really get anymore, but don't tell anyone. Now, look how old it is. 1932. Okay. I think it was reprinted later. Harrow was a very smart doctor. Good bedside reading. Good to read instead of looking at those fluffy cat videos, you know, on YouTube. So Harrow closely followed a lot of German and Swiss research, uh, you know, of, uh, of live glands and animals that were actually given to kids. When you read the case histories in here, it actually blows my mind on the kind of results they were getting using organs from different animals to treat people. And the outcomes were spectacular. Think carefully now about this. If we go back in civilization and we look at the Aztecs and we look at people that actually ate human body parts, okay? But there are many other cultures that ate animal body parts, but some ate human body parts. The, the heart and the eyes were reserved for the king, for example, of a tribe. Um, and other classes of people ate other parts of the body. But most cultures through the years have always eaten organs, glands of people. These are, contain some of the most beneficial parts, okay, nutrients for a human body. It's supreme nutrition. If we look at calf's liver that was used uh, at the Gerson Cancer Therapy uh, you know, for many years, I personally know many people who've benefited seriously from calf's liver uh, when it came to cancer, for example. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all, okay? I believe man did land on the moon, for example. But I do believe there's a big conspiracy uh, medical conspiracy around this kind of treatment and of course a lot of very good information is killed off and suppressed and ridiculed and people like me who talk about uh, glandular therapy are seen as like weirdos and charlatans and quacks and snake oil peddlers you know um, it's really sad and in the mainstream um, you know here people like Harrow are ridiculed when Harrow uh, actually conducted experiments himself and had extremely successful outcomes with organ therapy We've got now guys like Dr. James Wilson, for example, um, one of the smartest, sharpest minds I know in functional medicine. I spend many years with Dr. Wilson talking about glandular therapy, and Dr. Wilson's correct. I mean, when you give a patient with adrenal problem an adrenal glandular apart from an animal, it's going to respond. The person responds really well. So glandular therapy is valid. It's a great therapy, and I, I totally endorse it. And um, I think that more people should seriously look at glandular therapy. The products can be expensive because there's a tremendous amount of processing uh, behind uh, these supplements, but they're first class and they're certainly worth uh, 
looking more into. Don't believe what you read on mainstream about organ therapy. Uh, don't believe it. But certainly look up Dr. Harrower, and you can also download this book online. It's called Practical Endocrinology, and it was written by an extremely intelligent doctor who's basically treated like Bozo the Clown. So, but yeah, I'm a big fan of organ therapy, and I think um, there are companies like Standard Process that still put out very good, um, you know, organ organ related products. But don't let people tell you that it's sham and um, it's charlatan and it's snake oil because it's not true. By the way, snake oil contains omega three and it was actually sold as a medicine uh, back in the 1800s. So don't let people tell you that snake oil is no good. In fact, it is good. All right, that's where the word snake oil peddler comes from because snake oil is actually quite good for the body. So there you have it. Don't listen to these people because organotherapy is a valid science. A huge amount of research still conducted in that area, but it'll be quick to be assassinated by, you know, obviously people that aren't interested, you know, in that kind of therapy. Thanks for tuning in.